I'm Julie from Centennial Canoe Outfitters and at last your trip is finally here. I'm going to show you some tips on how to pack, especially so you won't forget the important stuff. We get a lot of calls from folks wanting to know what do I bring on my river trip. So this segment I'm going to talk about all of the personal clothes that you should bring. Prior to your departure date, you should have received a trip packet from us and it will have a gear list of what to bring and what not to bring. I'm going to show you what I bring on a three-day canoe trip. If you're going on one of our San Juan Island sea kayaking trip, the main ingredients are the same. You just might want to bring a little bit warmer clothing. First of all, I bring a gym bag to keep all my clothes together. And my first, oh, and this gym bag is going to eventually go in this big dry bag that Centennial Canoe will issue to each customer. So remember, emphasis on pack lightly. Um, a lot of my stuff is more high tech gear that I've accumulated over the years. Please don't feel like you have to go out and spend a lot of money on new clothes just to go on a river trip. I always wear a bathing suit as my first layer of clothing and over that I will put a t-shirt and some moisture wicking shorts. I especially like these shorts because they have zippered pockets and I can stick a chapstick in here and it won't get lost in the river. I do like moisture wicking fabrics for all of the materials I'm talking about here. And one way that I like to pack, and this is personal preference, you certainly don't have to do this, but I like to roll my clothes, and then I will stick them in a Ziploc bag, and that keeps um, extra protection in case things get, might get wet. And it also helps compress the items. I can squeeze out all the air, and I like to use the press and seal bags, not the zipper bags. And it also allows me to keep certain items together. For instance, I'll do all my t-shirts together. I'll do my undergarments and sleepwear together. Um, I'll do bathing suits together, etc. I also recommend a long sleeve shirt to help protect you from the elements and a pair of long pants. I like zippered off pants because they can double as shorts. So they do double duty. And by the way, I may bring up to two bathing suits, so I just have a change over a three-day period. I like to bring a pair of gym shorts that I sleep in along with an extra t-shirt. Don't forget your undergarments, bras, and underwear. And a couple of pair of moisture wicking socks or wool socks. need a good hat for sun protection, one that has a wide brim to cover your ears and your nose. Um, this particular one will keep me dry if it should rain, and also a chin strap is, is very valuable. Ball caps are not ideal, but they will work in a pinch because they will not cover your ears as well. Foot gear, very important. I have some river sandals here with, that have good tread so I won't slip and fall on the rocks. I like uh, ankle straps, which will keep these shoes securely on my feet, and of course, it allows the water to drain out. If you don't have river sandals, an old pair of gym shoes will work fine. A lot of people like to wear the flip-flops on the river trips, and I don't recommend these because they're easily um, fall off your feet, and they do not offer a lot of good uh, traction for uh, preventing slipping. A lot of people will wear these in camp, however. I also bring along a pair of lightweight boots, especially for the trips where we might have a whole day of hiking in the canyons. And I also wear these in camp at night, so I've got dry shoes to wear. Don't forget a towel, and this is one of those lightweight moisture wicking towels. And an item that I find invaluable because it has many uses is just a bandana. I use it as a washcloth, a sweatband, or it could be used as a rag. Toiletries. Now this is going to be geared a little bit more for a woman, but I'm going to show you some of the things I bring. A hard back glass eyeglass case to make sure that my eyeglasses won't get broken or crushed. 
and make sure that all your glasses have um, a croquis or a strap that can secure them around your neck. I like to compartmentalize my um, toiletries as well and the function of how I use them. So here I've got some Kleenex, I've got some eye drops, and I, I like to bring along some saline nose spray just to clean out my sinuses um, if the wind picks up and it gets dusty. I also have a small first aid kit with some Neosporin and an itch cream and some band-aids. Here I've got some towelettes that I can use to clean my face with. I have a little bit of face cream, my deodorant, I have chapstick, and I also have some body lotion. I have another Ziploc with my toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. And I have some biodegradable soap for bathing in the river, my hairbrush, and I also found some botanical shampoo that is also biodegradable. A lot of people will use Dr. Bonner's biodegradable soap. You can find that at health food stores or sporting goods stores. And I have my bug spray. I do not bring my good watch or jewelry on a river trip. Instead, I've got a fairly inexpensive, I think this was like $20 at Target, a river watch that's water resistant. If you do have medications, you might want to bring a little bit more than what you would normally need for that length of time and separate them into two bottles. I would keep one in a Ziploc bag in my gym bag so um, I can get to it at night or in the morning. If you need, um, and then I would do an extra bottle and I would give that to one of the guides to keep. So if anything should get wet, hopefully you will have an extra supply. If you need some of this during the day, then you'll need to pack this in a Ziploc bag and put that in a day pack. I like to have a little ball cap for around camp at night. I do bring some work gloves for collecting firewood or setting up my tent. And it also will keep my hands warm if the weather turns cold. Even if you're doing a trip in the middle of the summer when it's very hot, I always recommend bringing along a fleece jacket just to stay warm because you never know when it might get cooler. I also have a little skull cap that I bring along and I can sleep in that. It keeps the heat in my head and also helps keep me warm. We don't recommend that you leave valuables in your car while we're on the river, such as cell phones or wallets. So this is what I do. I have a little fanny pack with my car keys, cell phone wallet, and I will put that in a Ziploc bag and that will go in my gym bag and stay there dur the duration of the trip and it will be ready for me when we get off the river. I always bring an extra supply of my Ziploc bags. I use one as a trash bag in my tent. And if I have any wet clothing or sweaty clothes that I want to quarantine, I can put them in one of the Ziploc bags. And so there you got it.